The biggest beauty trend for 2018 has to be the explosion of sheet masks. I mean, I think every beauty company has launched their own version of a sheet mask. And if you haven't jumped on board this trend, it's time to do your skin a favor and get amongst it. But before you start, there are a few simple steps you need to follow so that you can get the most out of your sheet mask. As I said earlier, there are so many masks available and they all do different things. So it's really important that you choose the right one for your skin. Today I'm using Elizabeth Arden's Superstart Probiotic Boost Skin Renewal Biocellulose Mask because I've been using these products and loving them. Now this tip isn't essential, but it's something that I really like doing. I store my sheet masks in the fridge. It keeps them nice and cool, which makes them extra delicious when I put them on my skin. Now it's really essential that you cleanse your skin extremely well before you apply a sheet mask. So today I'm sticking with the same Superstart range and using the new Probiotic Cleanser, which I'm finding amazing. And basically this one, you just apply an even layer all over your dry skin. You leave it on for a minute before gently massaging it around with a little bit of warm water and then rinsing it off. Now, if you haven't used a particular product before, it's always really good to do a patch test and the same applies for masks. So just put a little bit on your skin and leave it for a couple of minutes and make sure that you are not reacting to it. Now it's also really essential that you apply the mask to a dry face. You want all the ingredients to be able to penetrate your skin, so be sure your skin is nice and dry first. You want to take a little bit of time ensuring that the mask is actually sitting flat on your face. This one's particularly good because it has this mesh which actually keeps the mask in shape while you're applying it. And so essentially all you need to do is just really maneuver it around and push it down onto your face. You just want to make sure that you get out the air bubbles and ensure that you can feel the product touching your skin. It's definitely worth taking a couple of minutes and just making sure that you get it sitting nice and flat. And don't leave the mask on your skin any longer than it states in the instructions. You don't want it drying onto your face and then having to peel it off. It won't actually be doing your skin any better to leave it on longer than is actually stated. Once you remove the mask, you'll notice that there's still quite a bit of product sitting on your skin. So take a couple of minutes just to gently massage it into your face and down your neck and really spread that product and make sure that it's really getting into your skin. And there's generally always lots of product left in the bottom of the sachet. So I make sure that I get in there and get all of that. It's the really good stuff and use it over your body, your hands, your neck, your decolletage. Don't waste it. This one almost goes without saying, but make sure you don't wash your face after you have applied your mask. You want all of that goodness to stay on your face. So I generally mask at night and then hop into bed and let all of that goodness do its job overnight. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.